Have you ever experienced a memory of something that never actually happened? This phenomenon known as the Mandela Effect challenges our understanding of reality and invites us to question the reliability of our memories. Some speculate that the CERN Hadron Collider, the world's most powerful particle accelerator, may be causing the Mandela Effect by altering the fabric of space and time. In this video, we'll explore the theories behind the Mandela Effect and delve into the disturbing possibility that hidden parallel universes may be to blame. The Mandela Effect is a phenomenon where a large group of people have shared a memory that is factually incorrect. The term was coined by paranormal consultant and author Fiona Broom, who claims to have experienced the effect herself. According to Broom, the Mandela Effect occurs when people have a shared false memory, and it is named after Nelson Mandela because a large group of people, including Broom, claim to remember him dying in prison in the 1980s, when in reality, he was released in 1990 and died in 2013. Weirded out yet? Don't worry, it gets even creepier. There are many examples of the Mandela Effect, and they range from misremembering minor details to complete fabrications of events. One of the most well-known examples of the Mandela Effect is the spelling of the children's book series The Bernstein Bears. Many people remember the spelling as The Bernstein Bears, despite the correct spelling being The Bernstein Bears. This misremembering could be due to the similar-sounding names, as well as the fact that both spellings are phonetically similar. Another example of the Mandela Effect is the famous quote from the movie Forrest Gump. Many people remember the quote as being, Life is like a box of chocolates. Sorry to tell you, it was actually Life was like a box of chocolates. This misremembering could be due to the fact that the quote is widely known and frequently quoted, leading to a distortion of the actual words. For decades, people have misconstrued the pivotal line of dialogue between Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker in The Empire Strikes Back. No, Darth Vader didn't actually say, Luke, I am your father. In reality, he actually says, No, I are you starting to feel like the fabric of reality is unraveling? The Mandela Effect is a fascinating phenomenon that has garnered a lot of attention and discussion. While it is not fully understood, some people believe the shared false memories that make up the Mandela Effect are caused by a combination of factors, including the distorting effects of memory and the influence of suggestion and confirmation bias. The Mandela Effect has raised questions about the reliability of our memories and the nature of reality, but the story gets even stranger when we consider the potential risks of the CERN's Large Hadron Collider. The Mandela Effect has been unsettling, as it challenges our memories and understanding of reality. Some people believe that the CERN's Large Hadron Collider may be causing the Mandela Effect by altering the fabric of space and time. There are many possible explanations for the Mandela Effect, including false memories, the misattribution of memories, and the influence of social media and the internet. It's important to keep an open mind and be willing to question our memories, but it's also important to be skeptical of unsupported claims and to rely on facts and evidence. Now, before you brush this off as conspiracy theory, let's take a look at some of the concerns that have been raised by famous scientists and other notable figures. Famous theoretical physicist Stephen Hawking was one of the first to raise concerns about the potential dangers of the CERN Hadron Collider. In an interview with the BBC, Hawking warned that the Collider could potentially create black holes that could threaten the very existence of our universe. Another scientist, Dr. Carlo Rovelli, has also expressed concerns about the CERN Hadron Collider. In a blog post, he wrote that the Collider could potentially create strangelets, which are hypothetical particles that could convert everything they come into contact with into a new form of matter. But it's not just scientists who have raised concerns about the CERN Hadron Collider. Celebrity physicist Neil deGrasse Tyson has also spoken out about the potential dangers of the tech wonder. In an interview with Business Insider, he said that the Collider could potentially create a vacuum bubble that could swallow up the Earth. Stephen Hawking, Dr. Carla Ravelli, and Neil deGrasse Tyson are just a few of the notable figures who have voiced their concerns about the Large Hadron Collider. Others have also expressed their worries about the potential risks of this particle accelerator. 
famous astronomer and astrophysicist Carl Sagan was one of the first to raise concerns about the collider. In a letter to the editor of the New York Times, Sagan wrote that the collider could potentially create strangelets that could convert the Earth into a new form of matter. Famous science fiction writer Arthur C. Clarke also expressed concerns about the CERN Hadron Collider. In a letter to the editor of The New Scientist, Clarke wrote that the collider could potentially create a black hole that could swallow up the Earth. Even former U.S. President Barack Obama has weighed in on the potential dangers of the CERN's Large Hadron Collider. In a press conference, Obama stated that the collider could potentially create a cataclysmic event that could threaten the very fabric of space and time. It's clear that the CERN Hadron Collider has raised concerns among a wide range of famous scientists, writers, and other notable figures. While it's impossible to know for sure what the consequences of using the collider may be, it's important to consider the potential risks and make informed decisions about its use. So, could the CERN Hadron Collider be causing the Mandela Effect and altering our current universe? It's hard to say for sure, but the concerns raised by these famous scientists and other notable figures are certainly worth considering. So what is the goal of the CERN Hadron Collider? To study the fundamental nature of matter and the universe, the LHC is located at the European Organization for Nuclear Research in Switzerland, and it is the world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator. The LHC works by accelerating particles, such as protons, to near the speed of light and then colliding them together. These high-energy particle collisions allow scientists to study the fundamental building blocks of the universe, such as quarks and gluons, and to learn more about the fundamental forces that govern the universe, such as electromagnetism and the strong and weak nuclear forces. One of the main goals of the LHC is to test and further our understanding of the standard model of particle physics, which is a theory that explains the behavior of all known elementary particles and the fundamental forces that govern them. The LHC has made many groundbreaking discoveries since it began operating in 2009, including the discovery of the Higgs boson, a particle that was predicted by the standard model and helps explain how other particles get their mass. There are some theories that suggest the LHC could potentially create alternative universes or dimensions. These theories are based on the idea that the LHC creates high-energy particle collisions that could potentially create wormholes, which are hypothetical tunnels through space-time that could allow matter and energy to travel from one universe to another. However, it's important to note that these theories are purely speculative, and there is no scientific evidence to support them. While the LHC is capable of producing some of the highest energy particle collisions ever achieved, the energy levels produced are still far below what would be needed to create a wormhole. It's also worth noting that the laws of physics, as we understand them, would need to be significantly revised in order to allow for the existence of alternative universes or dimensions. While it's certainly possible that our understanding of the universe may change as we learn more about it, it's important to be cautious about speculating about concepts that are not supported by current scientific evidence. As always, we encourage you to do your own research and come to your own conclusions. But one thing is certain, the CERN Hadron Collider is a powerful and potentially dangerous machine, and it's important to consider the potential consequences of its use. Thank you for watching Matter. Be sure to subscribe for more exciting and informative content.